to another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue, where some barbecuing is a way of life, folks. Today we're doing a special smoked turkey on the Weber Smoky Mountain, the WSM. This is an old classic recipe of mine I've been using since the late 80s. Won a couple contests with it. Makes your turkey very juicy, not just moist. I'll show you how we make the brine. Alright. Let me swing you around here, folks. I'll show the you magic the magic of editing. We see we got us a pot of gallon of water here. <clears throat> Always use distilled water if you can. Make sure your water is clean, not chlorinated. Hard water is not good either. We're going to use two cups of kosher salt. Two cups of dark brown sugar. I've always used dark brown sugar. I never used light sugar. I suppose you could use that too. And the secret weapon. One can of concentrated apple juice. Not apple cider, apple juice. Alright, got this induction heater coming up to a boil. What you want to do first folks is dissolve the salt all the way. <clears throat> alright, you see how that's all cloudy? That's not good. That's not... You gotta make sure it's all clear. Alright, we're gonna stir this up. Come back in a minute when it's all clear. And I'll show you what I mean. There you are, folks. Right yeah. How crystal clear the water become now after uh, stirring that in. That's fully dissolved. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos where people don't dissolve their salt all the way. You gotta dissolve it all the way. Alright, then you add the brown sugar. Careful, this water's hot. It's boiling hot. Don't burn yourself dumping that in. Same way, you wanna get that stirred up really good. Alright. Whoa! Alright, be careful putting this in. Just regular old apple juice. Use a good name brand, don't buy cheap stuff. Careful, boiling hot water. Alright, we got a little bit left in there. Just scoop a little bit of that water in there. There we go. Nice and clean. Stir that up. Make sure that's completely dissolved too, folks. It's frozen. So yeah, we're trying to eat it. There we go. Now the egg's floating. See the egg come to the top? See that egg floating in there, folks? Now we got enough salt. Now your brine's ready to go. Now we gotta get the egg out. Alright. That's all you do, folks. And we're gonna come back later. I'll show you, and the brine's all nice and cooled down. We'll put the turkey in the bucket. Also, food grade bucket. This had honey in it, so it's safe. You know, you want to use a bucket that's made for food, not for drywall patent powder or something. All right. Make sure your bucket's food grade. You can use a nice chest. Make sure you sterilize it. Wipe it all good. Be right back, folks. Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue, where barbecuing is a way of life. Today we're continuing on with the smoked turkey. We already made the brine. Brine's been cooled off. Now we're going to put the turkey into the brine. But first I'll show you what I do before I put it in the bucket. Here we got a, a beautiful bird. It's about 14 pound. I couldn't find a 12 pounder so I got the 14 pounder. Got the honey bucket nice and clean, sanitized. The brine is in there. But before we stick the bird in there, you want to get you one of these injectors with uh, lots of holes. Try to find one with many holes. We're going to inject this turkey up with this brine. Alright. What you want to do is just go around. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. <coughs> and just stick that in there. Look at that leg swell up. You want to get a head start on this brine. If you don't do this, it'll take a week before that brine to, to soak all the way in there. I know this because I work for a junior turkey store place and we inject thousands of pounds of turkeys every day. Just shoot that baby right up in the legs. See how that's coming out. Get this in the breast. Now you don't want to poke the skin of it. You want it to look good on the table. So come in here from the back and watch that swell up. 
See that swelling up? We're gonna give this brain a head start. That's what makes your that's what's gonna make this turkey juicy, not just moist. It'll be juicy. Do the same thing to the other breast. See how that swells up like that folks? We're going to do one more in each breast and we'll put it in the bucket. Alright, one more. Keep that bird looking good folks. We'll do Spray a half or more in each leg. Go under the skin so the leg looks good. Half of one more in there. And a half of one more in there. Alright. I got this injector offline, but you can find them at Walmart or whatever. Make sure you get one with all the holes. We're gonna take the bird, put it in the bucket, let it soak for a couple days. And we'll be right back, all right? Remember, about 48 hours what you want to do if you have the time. 12 hours of work. But go 24, 48 if you can. Turkey's going in the bucket. We'll come back. Next time you see me, we'll be firing up the Weber Smoky Mountain and <clears throat> putting this turkey on. Be right One back, folks. One more thing, folks. There's the egg floating. Now make sure that's it's got enough density to salt. If you don't have enough salt in your brine, your egg won't float. And that means you won't penetrate the meat. So make sure you use the egg. See how that's floating in there? That means you have enough salt. Okay, sometimes you have to add a little more water to cover up your turkey. Depends on how big your turkey is. Sometimes it takes two gallons of water. This is almost two gallons of water for a 14 pound bird. And then we'll cover, we'll weight this down, float it, you know, so it doesn't float. Remember, the egg tells you that your brine. It's good to go. You got enough salt in it. All right, be right back, folks. All right, folks, got it all fired up. Got the gauge in. These things are made to run, run low and slow. I'm gonna try to get up to around 300 if I can. These old babies here made to cook low and slow. I get to 300, I'll be lucky on this cold day. 22. Alright, we'll check back in about four hours. See what she looks like. Be right back. Alright, folks. Let's see how she looks. Oh, look at that, boys. She's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Put this baby off. Pull it off, bring it inside, let it rest. Alright, folks. There it is. Beautiful bird. Been sitting for about a half hour, hour. Nice and warm still. Let's see how we did, folks. I'm a true believer you gotta brine a turkey. If you don't brine it or inject it, it's gonna turn out dry. Remember that guy in that movie, uh, The Griswolds? Don't want that turkey to be dry like that guy right there. Hey, Clark. <laughs> okay, Eddie. Wow, look at the juice, folks. Alright. Oh, yeah. Woo! Juicy. Look at that juicy piece of meat, folks. Beautiful. Check out this thigh. Yeah. Ooh, juice is just pulling in there, folks. Wow. Now that's one juicy piece of meat. Yeah. You ever seen a turkey that juicy before? Just dripping out of there, folks. Alright, see how it tastes. Mmm. That is delicious, folks. Juicy, 
tender. No, it don't taste like apple. A little hint of apple from the smoke. Good. Wow, look at that. Try some of this dark meat. Look at that. Juicy. Not moist, it's juicy. Wow. All right, folks. That'll conclude today on Scotty's Backyard Barbecue Smoked Turkey on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Where barbecuing is a way of life. Thanks for watching this corny video. And I'll see you next time on Scotty's Backyard Barbecue.